Okay, I want to show you what a couple of things I've learned on product redirects or category redirects. In an earlier video, I showed you how to create a manual redirect. Essentially, it's as easy as adding a redirect, putting in first the new URL, and then putting in this old URL after that. You have to do the new URL first because otherwise they start giving you these messages and it makes it really hard to go find the URL. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, what I want to show you is that um, one, I've learned how to make dynamic links. Dynamic links are links that will continue to update if you ever update the link it's going to. So for example, with this dynamic link, I have it going to another product category and if I ever change the address or the URL of that product category, it will automatically update this earlier link. I'm getting rid of a lot of my product categories because a lot of them bulk uploaded into a bunch of junk categories. However, and unfortunately for me, those um, the, these junk categories have already been indexed by Google. So I, I don't want to get rid of them and have Google, you know, mark me or punish me in some way. So one of the ways that I can do that is by clicking on a dynamic link. I click on it. I can now come in and tell it where I want something to be saved. So in this case, if I wanted to be saved like to medicine balls, I can insert the link. Or if I wanted to be saved to, I think in this case, I'm going to have it saved to elastic exercise bands. So now um, this one that comes to the exact same page, if I ever change this page um, by accident or on purpose or whatever, BigCommerce changes it all the time. If I, if I rename the page, they will try to reassign it a new URL. Unless I, and so if I manage to not catch it or someone that is working for me doesn't catch it. This one will change, this one will not. So dynamic links, eventually I'm going to want all of these manual links that I have been entering one by one to become dynamic links. But that's going to have to be a phase two of managing my 301 redirects because right now my biggest concern is to get Google to index my site and one of the things I think will help it to do that is if I can reorganize my um, my categories and if I can make my categories so that they're you know they have content in them and useful starts to look at my site again as if it's useful and informative so one of the things that I'm going to do is under these resistant bands I've I've already entered a couple of redirects, so as I click on old categories, it redirects to the new categories. I can go ahead and continue doing a manual redirect to every single one of those, but that takes a lot of time. Instead, what I did was I did a bulk export, and the one and only article they have about redirects you can find here by clicking on this learn about importing and it'll take you to this article that has a couple of screenshots tells you how to do redirects but doesn't address a lot of questions that I have and so I I started experimenting and I did a bulk export here's my export of all my redirects and then I just copied this initial setup and I pasted it in the first time that I did it, I only added in the old URL and the new URL. I didn't add in the shortened path, which is the URL, you know, after my my domain. And when I brought it in, it completely messed up the redirect. So by experience, I've learned that you want to add the old path, the old URL, and the new URL. And if you bring those in, that's going to bring in these two redirects and then I, I made this one into dynamic but the bulk export will only do manual redirects it won't do dynamic redirects it's not built to do that so I'm gonna go add a couple more of 
junk pages like this that eventually I'm going to actually delete as a category. But first I want to make sure all those old pages are redirecting. And I'll be back. So now I've added a whole bunch of these and this is why I like the bulk the bulk import for redirects because all of these exercise bands are going to essentially the same place. So now I can just quickly just you know bring those down. And then the second piece is that I do want to come in and just grab those product paths for each one of those items so that it imports accurately on big commerce. All right, so now I've got all of these updated. I'm just going to save it as a CSV file. I have used Excel my entire life and I bought a new computer. I didn't have Excel on it. And so I've been using Google Sheets and there are a couple of things about Google Sheets that are way easier. For one, it doesn't give me all these messages and if you don't pay attention, then it reformats it into a CSV file and it just will automatically push it down just as a CSV file. So now if I want to import these, you'll see I already have my CSV file. It already automatically saved the actual um, tab that I was working on, which is my test one tab. I'm going to open that. I'm going to notate it that it has headers and I'm going to import. And now you can see here are all of those manual pieces that I imported in. So now if I come back to my, this is an old category I'm going to be deleting. I come back to my can do resistance. Now if I click on any of these it should go straight to the new category that I'm going to be keeping. And a couple of them I did make different categories but I'm just going to run through really fast. Make sure that all of these redirects are working. Make sure I didn't accidentally miss a redirect. And once I double check that I can, I can come back and delete all of those old categories. So that's going to keep me. So now I know I have all of those redirects fixed and saved. I can come to my product categories, go down to my rehab here. I go down to my resistance and these are all the categories I just created redirects for. So now I can just delete the categories. They won't actually even show up anymore. And that was a way easier way to do the redirects than the manual redirects. Manual redirects do the job, but I'm just trying to find faster, easier way. And I'm glad that that created it. So now if I come back, go to that resistance, go to that first level, all of those categories have now been deleted and I can redirect this page and continue cleaning up my site. Hope that helps you. I hope that um, the, the redirect portion of it makes it easier and makes it better and faster for you and your site. Best of luck. Have a great day.